Yo, what is going on guys? Slider in here. We're gonna be doing a guide on the enhancement shaman. We're gonna cover the talents, artifact weapon, and rotation. So briefly I'm just gonna go over the talents and what I picked. I'm not gonna go into detail about every other talent. I'm just gonna show you what I picked so far. So Boulder Fist is probably your best bet on the level 15 talents. Increases your critical strike chance by 5% and all the damage you deal by 5%. So this is gonna be the best at all three. You always want to pick Boulder Fist. Uh, level 30 talents is a mix. I feel they're all viable. I just prefer Feral, feral Lunge, but Wind Rush Totem is probably your best bet in dungeons and also in uh, PvP. So you can switch between these two. I just prefer the 30 second cooldown on this. Um, 45 talents. I definitely would suggest Lightning Surge Totem. Uh, it's an AoE stun, so when you're doing big group pulls in dungeons, it's really effective and it helps the group out a lot. Level 60 talents, Ancestral Swiftness or Hailstorm. Uh, I've seen a lot of people run between these two. I personally ran Ancestral Swiftness for a while, but I switched over to Hailstorm. Um, Hailstorm just does a lot more damage overall when you have a little bit of downtime, when you can't get abilities off, so it's definitely a stronger pick in my opinion. But you can run with either. It depends on your playstyle, I guess. Uh, Tempest, Stormbringer now affects next two Storm Strikes. So two free Storm Strikes in a row. You definitely want to run with this over these two. Because it's the strongest, in my opinion. Uh, Crashing Storm. So when you put down Crash Lightning. Crashing Storm does additional AoE damage. 27k damage damage over 6 seconds. So on big AoE pulls, this is definitely what you want. The other two are decent, but 40 second cooldown opposed to it's just a passive, so this is really good. Um, level 100 talents, they're all pretty good options, but landslide's your best bet. Boulder Fist now enhances your weapon, increasing your agility by 8% for 10 seconds. So on top of Boulder Fist already having that uh, damage and crit, you also have the agility. So that's what I believe is the best talents right now, for my playstyle at least. Um, so yeah, let's jump into Artifact. Okay, so Artifact. I'm going to go over just the brief path that I've picked so far and what I think is going to be the most effective for myself. This may not fit for you, but this is what I think is best personally. So first things first, you're going to run with Hammer of Storms, increase your Storm Strike, which is obviously what you want. Um, gather Storms each Target hit by Crash Lightning increases damage dealt by your next Storm Strike within 12 seconds by uh, 6%. So I went with this just because extra damage to your Storm Strike. And Storm Strike is your hardest hitting ability as an Enhancement Shammy. So you definitely want this. Um, these other options just lead off to a different path, which you don't want to go for right away. Uh, wind Strikes. When Stormbringer resets the remaining cooldown on Storm Strike, you gain 30% attack speed for 3 seconds. So that 30% attack speed is huge. You can get a lot of damage off in 3 seconds as a Hansman Shammy. Especially with the haste and everything running, it's it's a really good option. I then went up and picked Alpha Wolf. While Pharaoh's Spirits are active, Crash Lightning causes your wolves to attack all nearby enemies for eight the next 8 seconds. So more AoE damage from your wolves, especially when you're doing big pulls. Uh, it's really worth it, in my opinion, so I went with that. Uh, and then went up to Spiritual Healing, increases healing done by Healing Surge for 30 by 30%. 30 so that extra Healing Surge is really useful, especially if you're taking a lot of damage and you need to take a load off your healers. This helps a lot, especially with the free heals from having higher Maelstrom. Um, I then went up to Doom Wolves. Doom Hammer imbues your, each of your Feral Spirits with Fire and Frost and Lightning, granting them an extra ability. So that's the first uh, gold trait I went with. Really strong for Wolves and boss fights, so I picked this one. I then went back over here. Storm Strike now has 20% chance to strike an additional time for 40% of its normal damage. So it's another cleave on top of Storm Strike's already high damage. So if you get tons of Storm Strike procs in a row, this could really do a lot of damage. That's why I went with this. I then went over to Elemental Healing. Astral Shift heals you for 30% of your maximum health over 15 seconds. So it's basically Astral Shift just makes you take 40% less damage so this healing is really helpful because I find I'm using this especially in uh, mythics 
you want to pop this just to help your healers out and survive. Uh, and then going to Raging Storms when Stormbringer resets the remaining cooldown on Stormstrike. It also increases damage dealt by your next Stormstrike by 25%. So on top of all this other Stormstrike stuff, you're also dealing 25% more damage. So that's pretty big. Definitely going to do a lot of damage with Stormstrike. Um, and then I'm going to move down to Spirit of Ma Maelstrom on combat goals will form. You uh, generate five Maelstrom for every uh, two seconds. So when you're moving to the next pack, you're usually in Ghost of Form, so you're generating Maelstrom, which is really useful for the start of the next fight. So then you can just get your Crash Lightning off, whatever else you need, get up your weapons. And then this is the second one I'm working towards. Storm Strike has a chance to unleash the power of Doom Hammer, causing your special attacks to have Molten Lava or Lightning Spikes at your target for 25k fire or nature damage. So that's what I'm going to run with. Gonna go all the way down to this one and then I'm gonna work my way back down to the third trait and then fill in the rest. That right now is what I feel is the strongest path, but this is personal preference. I don't know if it's the best overall. This is just what I've been running with so far. So let's jump into rotation now. So first thing I want to say is as an enhancement champion, you want to keep up your flame tongue your Frostbrand, and your Boulder Fist at all times. So if you don't have already something like weak auras that will make you a lot easier to track um, when these buffs are going down. So that's what I set up for myself is weak auras. So you usually have Boulder Fist, you get a Flame Tongue, get a Frostbrand, Boulder Fist, Storm Strike, Lava Lash, Storm Strike. When you get the free Storm Strikes, you wanna make sure you dump those right away while also keeping up the flame tongue and your frost brand. As you can see, you get a lot of free storm strikes. And uh, just overall, you do a lot of damage. And uh, yeah, you wanna make sure you're maintaining these three buffs at all times. So as long as you're doing that and filling in your rotation with storm strike, lava lash, and uh, crash lightning or whatever, if it's an AOE pull, you wanna make sure crash lightning's down and you are using Storm Strike and Lava Lash because um, the way Crash Lightning works is enhances your weapons for 10 seconds, deals the AoE damage, but your Storm Strike and Lava Lash also deal nature damage to all the targets in front of you. So you wanna make sure that you have the Maelstrom to uh, cast Storm Strike and Lava Lash while maintaining your weapon buffs. So it's, it's really easy to maintain everything if you have weak auras or some type of thing built up um, that you can track uh, those are the three main abilities you want to make sure that are always on you because if you don't you're going to be losing dps a lot um, so yeah just boulder fist main tongue cross brand storm strike boulder fist storm strike storm strike storm strike you get a lot of procs of storm strike and then maintain these three and that's pretty much the basic rotation as an enhancement champion. You want to always maintain those three buffs at all times while dumping your Maelstrom. Um, so yeah, always make sure you have enough when you're running out as well as Maelstrom. So don't dump too much if you, you're not going to be able to have these up. And uh, yeah, that's the basic rotation for enhancement champion. And as far as boss fights go, uh, in my opinion on the first boss you want to pop everything. But make sure you are using your Feral Spirits and your Doom Hammer on average pulls, especially in Mythics. You want to be getting out as much damage as you can, clearing those packs as, as you work your way to the boss. Obviously, if you're really close to the boss, you kind of want to save your Feral Spirits and your Doom Hammer. And if you do have a Trinket, make sure you're saving that. Uh, so right away on the boss fight, I would pop Heroism, pop all my buffs, and uh, do the same rotation, making sure your weapons... Uh, your flame tongue, your frost brand, and your boulder fist are up at all times. That's just gonna make sure you do the most damage output. And uh, yeah, that's basically the enhancement shaman guide for me. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know. Uh, if there's anything else you want to see, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a good one. Peace.